Morning Tips Live Season 2, Episode 3. Today, I have a very special guest joining me in place of Captain Keith, Stephanie Achimovich from Marine Max Orlando. She's a, a seasoned veteran of the Marine Max Sales Department, and we're happy to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Stephanie, today we're going to be talking about the boat ordering process. And by that, I mean anybody who has been either selling boots like us or buying boots in the boat buying process over the past year since COVID came through and this boating craze has started. Ordering boats has been a very, very big part of our business. And by that, I mean the exact boat you want, the exact model you want, chances are, especially when you're talking about under 30 feet, might not be at your local Marine Max. It might not even be at one of our 70 plus th locations throughout the whole country. We're talking about these popular models like a like a Boston Whaler 17 Montauk or a or a Sea Ray. I mean, shoot, a, a 270 SDX right now. You're gonna have to order that boot, and that's where we come in. Absolutely, yeah. Um, we're we're lucky enough, especially you and I being in Florida, that we can. Uh, we have the ability to jump in a car and most likely we can see what we want at another store. Um, but, but yeah, they're, um, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, they're, they're hard to come by, but, uh, you know, we have enough clients that are here within service, um, that if somebody comes in, we can most likely show them a service boat. Um, and then they can look at a few options on the boat we have here and then go over the order process with them go through colors, um, you know, you name it. We'll go through the whole whole thing from A to B, A, A to Z, and, uh, you know, get their order coming. And, I, and I've grown to really love the the process here over the past year or so, and I, and I almost find myself gravitating towards it sometimes because it's like, okay, I get it. Everybody wants to be out on the water now, now, now. Some places are a little more seasonal than we are, but anyway – you know, you, through picking out the colors and then, you know, every little thing, next thing you know, however long that lead time is, which it varies by each different brand, model, whatever. And then it shows up on the truck. It's sh it shrink-wrapped and it's better than Christmas. I, I love the build process. I really do. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure you've been through this uh, m this year just as much as all of us. Um, it's great. When we have a new boat come in, you know, who's, who's new boats here. And then you call the customer, um, you know, sometimes they come in and they unwrap it themselves and it's just everything that they've dreamed of. You know, we, we have a lot of boats in stock, but little things like adding teak accents or, you know, adding a gel color stripe, it really just, you know, takes it to the next level and gives them that custom feel. Absolutely. So it looks like we got a couple of questions coming in here on the side. It looks like we have one from, from YouTube, one from Facebook. If you guys are watching, drop those comments, drop those questions down below. If there's ever a time that you need to get something off your chest, you need to ask us directly, go ahead, drop it in the comments, and we'll get them answered right away. So we've got Jag Pimp. Greetings from Tucson. Jag Pimp, thank you for watching. And then on Facebook, we have Tim that says, when are the new Galleon 425s coming in? That's a good question, Tim. I actually don't know that off the top of my head. There's definitely, I'll say it, there's quite a few better people ask than myself on anything regarding galleon stephanie i don't know do you know anything about incoming 425s unfortunately not but we can definitely find out so tim we're gonna send you a private dm here after this episode and we're gonna get you in touch with 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 stephanie or myself depending on your location and we're gonna we're gonna see exactly when these new galleons are coming in they just launched a 325 over in Marine Max Clearwater, which is the new outboard boat. And Captain Steve from BoatTest.com spent his time on that. You can find that video on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe it can get dropped in a comment some, somewhere. Either way, that boat's making its rounds around Florida. So that's that. So, Stephanie, I want a boat. I'm not in a rush, okay? I show up to Marine Max Orlando and I say, hey, great, I uh, I want a Sea Ray 270 SDX. How do I go about getting one? We're going to need to build one. What does that process 
look like for me and you from start to finish? Where, where do you even start? What, what does that look like, Stephanie? Um, in my opinion, um, I like to get the customer on that boat. So if there's an opportunity to see that boat um, in person, um, that that is uh, something that I like to do with with the customer. And uh, if they've you know seen the boat, um, or if I have something similar in range, you know I like to get them out on it so they can see the layout, and I'll explain the differences. Um, and then we just you know have a conversation like you and I are having now, and we sit down and discuss options. So from color to kitchen sink or uh, kitchen uh, summer kitchens to uh, engines. Um, you know, we, we go through the whole thing. So um, there we all of our manufacturers have built a boat online. So we could go through it that way so we can get more of a visual. Um, and then we, we put it on paper and, uh, you know, we send it into corporate um, to get an ETA. So it gives us a better time um, for them to reference on when they're expecting their new boat to get here. Especially... I mean, I, I know you guys are dealing with some different brands over there as far as you guys carrying Scout and stuff like that. But let's talk about Whaler and Sea Ray, for instance. Their build a boat process is so transparent. It's so easy. I, I love nothing more than saying, okay, let's do this. Here's the link to the build a boat website. Go ahead and build that boat out. Send it back to me. Then we can price it out on our system. And then, you know, the, we build boats every single day, whether we're specking boats out or we're ordering boats for people sometimes you might double check an option you know you might you might check off something that's included in a package and you might check it off twice and we're gonna know okay you don't need to double check that that's included in that package your sales consultant can also make recommendations like for instance there might be some options that people might think hey i can save a little bit of money i might do without that but it's like okay on a 270 stx I'm going to say, hey, I see that you don't have trim tabs checked off there. And if you're going to be riding around with a dozen people on the boat, I'd recommend that option. There, There's different ways that whoever you're working with can advise something that's really going to make you happy and make sure that the money's well spent. With that being said, what does that lead time look like, Stephanie? I'm not saying a, a, a timeline, but how do, you, how do you get your name on that list? How do, you, how do you get put in a queue? How do you really get the ball rolling? Yeah. So once we submit, um, you know, the order, we uh, we have the ability to look and see what we have on order just for stock boats. So if there's something that's in, on order for a stock boat and it hasn't gotten to a certain point yet, we can go through with the customer's um, wish list and, you know, revise that to what they want. Um, and in that sense, you're you're getting a boat a little bit sooner than just putting a fresh order in if that is an option. Um, and then other than that, you know, it, it gets put in line. Um, and yeah, go, go from there. Yeah, for sure. It's a, uh, and plus, I mean, when people order these boats, I mean, you see deals fall apart sometimes. And next thing you know, a, a boat that's been on order for the past three months shows up and it's available. When that happens, you gotta be ready to, you gotta be ready to pounce because I mean, especially on, you know, some of these more popular models, if, if you don't hop on it, next thing you know, you're, you're looking at three, four months out. Yeah, for sure. Looks like we got a question from Bob. Um, he's asking if there's any expected changes for the 2022, uh, 29 SDX. Yeah. You, you want, you want me to take that one, man, speaking of popular models, I mean, <laughs> yeah. 290 SDX is have to be the most popular model right now as a matter of fact i'm pretty sure with with that order process we're actually in the model year of 2022 on the c right rate the c rate 290 scx outboard um awesome boots phenomenal boots and a, as far as any model year changes i really can't speak for that i know that they're still going to have the 290 scx in 2022 for the sake that i have built a couple of them yeah if it's anything like the past couple years, yeah, you're gonna see little, you're gonna see little changes. You might see a, a hockey puck controller in a different place. You might see a different gel coat color. But to, the short answer to your question, Bob, yeah, you'll see little stuff year over year, but you're not gonna see any major changes. It's uh, it's still gonna be the same haul, and they're still gonna be putting the same horsepower on there, to my knowledge. Um, Stephanie, I got a question for you. I know that you guys deal a lot of whalers at that store. 
how pumped up are you with some of the new models like the uh the the 25 dauntless the 22 dauntless stuff like that i know that they're great lake boots and you know the dauntless series has been around for not not years but decades and for them to kind of continue on that legacy what are your thoughts on some of those new models um i have not seen a new dauntless in person I'm very excited to see one, um, but I will say that I, I have been on and driven the new 28 Vantage, and it is a phenomenal machine, um, which they also have the new 24. I haven't seen that one yet, but we, we do have one here in stock, and it is just, it's perfect. Um, if my husband and I were in the market for a boat that size, we would, certainly that would be the one. Uh, it's got a nice, massive, te uh, massive top on it, hard top, Got plenty of rod holders. There's a lot of transformable seating in the transom. You just pull them out. And if you guys are fishing, there's plenty of room for even four people to fish, you know, in the back of the boat. And uh, you still get all the creature comforts of home. It's got, you know, the grill and the head and the refrigerator and all the nice seating up front, too. But phenomenal machine. I'm I'm very excited about the Vantage. And I'm sure I'll feel the same way once I see the new, the new 20, uh, the new Dauntless. So... Yeah, for sure. The boat rides great too. On Whaler's website, there's a there's a list of kind of all the differences. Like, okay, the twenty four dollars look like this. The twenty five dollars is going to look like that. Boat rides great. They added some dead rides to the hull. It definitely updates the whole look of the boat. It's a lot sharper lines. The cap kind of jogs down in the back, and it 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 definitely is a fun boat to run and is a great fishing platform as well as family package. Um, so that's that. We actually have one here. We have one here in stock available. I, I spec the boat out with one of my coworkers here three or four months ago. And you know how it is when we'll spec boats out. Sometimes we will, we'll leave them without electronics. Sometimes we'll leave them without, you know, certain options. But we said, Hey, if we're going to order this one and there's a chance that this is going to set the bar, let's, uh, let's see what whaler can do. So we ordered it with the trolling motor. We ordered it with the power pole. We ordered it with the big electronics. We ordered it with the new black powder coat on the T-top, which I think looks really good. And, I mean, it's it's a turnkey boot ready to go. Oh, beautiful. I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. <laughs> yeah, come check it out. So let's, uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's see. Is there still inventory? This is one of our call-in questions. Got a text from Lisa from Clearwater here. Is there still inventory available if I want a boot right now? What's it looking for you guys over there, Stephanie? Um, we definitely have some boats in stock. So we have a few Sea Rays. We've got some Whalers. We've got a few Scouts. Um, we carry Taiga and ETX as well here, as well as pontoon boats. So um, I'd say we're, you know, from a inventory standpoint, we've got a good selection. Um, you know, if you're just walking in through the door and wanted to see some um, some variety, we've got a good variety right now. How about you guys? Yeah, we're seeing it roll in. We sea rays are selling quicker than they can get here. We have some whalers <laughs> in, and we've actually got a pretty good selection of nautic stars. I know that that's another brand that is kind of exclusive to our little sub region here, and we're seeing them come in. So. That's another boat that I'm sure we're going to sell out of here, especially come the Tampa Bay Boat Show and stuff like that, just moving into the season. Whatever inventory there is right now, get it while you can, because come March, April, May, it's going to be gone. It's just uh, the nature of the business, especially with hot boating as hot as it is right now. Yeah. And it, you know, if it's a great time now because you can get your, your customers acclimated to their new boats, and especially if they're brand new. Um, get them with one of the delivery captains and it gives them time to warm up before everybody gets out on the water once it gets hot. <laughs> yeah. And if you are looking to order a boat, I mean, I'm not going to speak and, and don't hold me to this guys, but if you were to order a boat right now in February, chances are you can have that boat by the time that we're in the heat of the summer. Chances are generally speaking. I mean, I took an order on a, uh, on a certain model C ray the other day, that boat's going to get here in May. Then I know other boots that aren't going to get here until, you know, later than that. But either way, we got a good question here. We got two good questions. We got Captain Keith joining us today. He is delivering a Boston Whaler 345 Conquest. 
in Tampa Bay. I'm going to get to that in a minute. That's Tampa Bay, not Tampa Bay. And Keith, thanks for joining us. And we'll get to Tampa Bay in a minute. And we've got Brian here, long time Boating Tips Live viewer and asker of great questions. What's the typical down payment for starting, starting the ordering process? Stephanie, you want to take that one? Yeah, typically, um, typically the banks are going to want about 20% down, um, which is roughly the amount that you would need for a, an order boat anyway. So, um, yeah, great question. Um, about right about 20% down. Good stuff. Got a, so anyway, Keith here, Keith asks us, or Keith says he's in the middle of Tampa Bay right now. So <laughs> I'm hurting today. I am. <laughs> I'm moving slow. A lot of loud noises, a lot of bright lights. Didn't shave my face. <laughs> I went to the Super Bowl yesterday last night and watched the Tampa Bay Buccaneers take home their second Super Bowl trophy, Tom Brady's first with the Patriots, his seventh overall, and it was the most phenomenal sporting event that I will ever go to in my entire life. And and if there's any Bucks fans watching right now, drop your comments, show your love in the comments section, and uh, – and yeah, so that's that's what I have to say about that. So I had a great time, and uh, go Bucks! What did you think about the halftime show? I thought it was good. So so it's funny you say that, Stephanie, because I had a, people were texting me and calling me all game, and I had half of the people asking me saying, "Hey, was the halftime performance as good in person as it was on TV?" And then I had another group of people texting me saying, hey, was the halftime performance as lame in person as it was on TV? <laughs> and I mean, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't your typical halftime show where like, you know, you think of like, you know, Lady Gaga, where like they got the stage in the middle of the football field, everybody comes out and they're like, you know, everybody's doing the, you know, whatever. But the stage was not on a field. And then they went on the field to perform, but the the fans didn't go on a field. And you ever have you ever watched like the Super Bowl and you're like, man, how do they choreograph those lights in the stands? Like, how do they know like people when they like hold up the light and stuff? So this is how they do it. I'm gonna change everybody's lives right here. <laughs> so when you go to your seat, there is an assigned seat. You can't move from it, you know, COVID and stuff like that. You need to sit wherever they tell you to. And there's a bracelet. So you put the bracelet on. And then there's an instructions that say, hey, at halftime, you know, you do you do one of these, you hold it up. And next thing you know, the bracelet starts buzzing. And sometimes it's got a red light on it. Sometimes it's got a green light on it. Sometimes it's just blinking. And it's choreographed throughout the whole stadium. So, like, the guy 10 seats down from you, his bracelet's going to be doing something different from yours. And the person across the stadium from you is going to be doing something completely different. So it's super awesome show of lights and stuff. And, and yeah, that's how they do it. So, boom, mind blown. The firework display looks pretty intense too. Yeah, and and they they did everything so like in, in the Buck Stadium where they, you know, they fire the cannons whenever they win. They couldn't do that because this is the first time that it's been a Super Bowl in a hometown, so they had to keep it as neutral as possible. Possible, but you know, the Bucks scored. You know, there'd be fireworks and stuff like that. And when they won, I mean, they fired those cannons for like ten minutes straight. It was awesome. And it was a incredible Super Bowl flyover in the beginning too. With uh, they had three different types of generations of bombers, and that was really cool coming from McDill Air Force Base. So all around great experience. Ten out of ten would do it again. Awesome. Yeah, I was jealous. I was looking at your your stories. I was like, oh, Nick's there. So I kept following you, see what you were posting. The it, everything looks great from where you were sitting. So. Awesome. I had a good time up in the up in the nosebleed seats. So, but I would I would do it again. All right, looks like we have Ann Pavlakis. That's my mom, guys. Chris Pavlakis and I just drove by Tom's house out here now. So calm in Tampa Bay right now. Nice. Where is Captain <laughs> Keith out here? I think you can find Captain Keith around Maximo Marina right now. He is down making a delivery from the Clearwater store. So if you see Keith out there somewhere in Tampa Bay between Marine Max Clearwater and the Skyway Bridge and a 345 Conquest, mm -hmm. go out there and say hey. Let's 
Looks like we got a YouTube question down here, Stephanie. All right. Yeah. So somebody did not agree with the uh, the uh, <laughs> halftime show. Looks like <laughs> you can't Lisa's please asking, everybody. Yeah. Lisa's asking, "What's it like to order a boat? Do you have to sit down and literally pick every single option?" Um. Yes and no. Um. I think that uh, it depends on the boat. Um, a lot of a lot of options come as packages. Um, so, for instance, if you order, you know, a Boston Whaler with a fishing package, you'll you know you'll get the live well, you'll get the rod holders, so on and so forth. And um, convenience packages are you know very similar. So, um, just kind of depends on the boat. Um, and the bigger the boat, the more options. So that's when it's um, a little bit longer of an order process, but um, you know you're getting it exactly how you want it. So. Sometimes on those larger boots too, actually your your smaller ones as well. You'll you'll see different packages and stuff, and and you can actually end up saving a little bit of money by choosing the package as a whole. Like I know, C Ray came out with in twenty twenty one the what is it like the deluxe premium package or something like that, where you're gonna get a a whole list of options. Call it, I'm just spitballing here, twenty thousand dollars worth of options, and you get it as the whole package. You might get it for actually eighteen thousand on your build, so you save a little bit of money. Um, so that's that I, I always like when manufacturers doing that, but to kind of piggyback off of Lisa's question there about, do you literally sit down and pick every single option? It can be done in person. It can be done over the phone. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many boots that Stephanie and I have sold ordered boots over the phone saying, okay, yeah, I like that. Okay. Let's review this, this build sheet together, but it's definitely something you want to be thorough about. And, you know, have, have fun with it. I mean, you're, you're buying a boat, you're having fun, you know, it should, it should be a fun process. And like you were saying earlier, you know, there's more than just the customer set of eyes and our set of eyes on the actual order itself. So, um, you know, that's, that's a, the opportunity to make sure that we're not doing anything um, out of redundancy and, and picking the same option twice, because again, a, a lot of these are um, a lot of options come as a package. So. Absolutely. I know I hit on boat shows a little bit earlier there, Stephanie, and we're starting to see them again here. We had the St. Pete show that was, I mean, just crazy here a little while ago. What do you guys have for some boat shows coming up as we make our way into the summer? Are you guys doing a Lakeland boat show again? Are you guys, what does your boat show schedule look like towards the middle of the state? We're actually doing um, some more private uh, shows here in the showroom. Um, the Orange County Convention Center typically puts on the Orlando Boat Show, and um, you know we're we're just not um, we're not going to put our customers at risk. Mm -hmm. um, we um, lots of options, so um, we're going to do more private um, showings this year for boat shows. It's just in a more re you know relaxed environment, and you know we we feel that's the best for for our group around here. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, especially with, you know, everybody wants to be away from the crowds and stuff there. There definitely is something to be said for the private showings or virtual showings for that, for that matter. I mean, you don't need to even step into a showroom to buy a boat nowadays. You can have a completely, completely hands off process. So good on you guys. Yeah, we've done that uh, quite a few times. I, um, there's, there's been a few instances where I've, um, connected with customers and built boats and, you know, we've done closings and I haven't seen them in person until we go to deliver the boat itself. So, um, you know, we can, uh, be as interactive as you want and do virtually anything, you know, over the phone or in a zoom call. So. How do you guys, I know that everybody's driven past the Orlando store there. How do you guys go in sea trial boots and stuff like that? You guys aren't on the water, correct? Correct. Yeah, we are a highway store. So we are off of I-4. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, we have so many lakes here in Central Florida. There are so many things to see and do. So um, depending on the situation, we have two lakes that are about five minutes up the road um, in either direction. And uh, the the main one that we use can handle up to about a 35-foot boat. Um, so we use that one quite often and it's just a five minute drive and it, it also gives the, cu the customer an opportunity to, 
um, you know, get comfortable with trailering the boat and ask any questions in that sense and um, kind of see that process. Um, and then uh, on some of our larger boats that we demo or sea trial, we will just go out to the coast. New Smyrna is not very far from us. So we've got the intercoastal and we can, um, you know, we can do it that way too. So. Don't you guys have a, is it a sister store or is it, is it a satellite store over there towards the coast? Yeah, we have our uh, store in Cocoa Beach as well. So, um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they, we've teamed up with them quite a few times and, um, you know, majority of the boats, uh, we were able to do just a few minutes from the store. So it's, it's not on the water. So it's not as convenient as, you know, being at your store or some of our other stores that are on marinas or on the water. Um, but it's, it's, uh, it's very easy. Yeah. You guys get the job done just fine. Got Kelly over here. Kelly Barry. What is the best way to build my boat? Good question. It's relative. All right. Um, on a smaller boats, there is a build a boat feature. It's very straightforward on Sea Ray's website, Boston Whalers website, Nautic Stars website, Scouts website, right? I mean, I don't know. Um, you get to the bigger stuff, building a boat, building your dream boat with a with a larger galleon or an azimuth or a Aquila Power Catamaran. That's going to be a little bit more of an intimate process. That's going to be something that you're going to be working directly with your sales consultant every step along the way and and it's you know there's going to be a lot more options so so i mean but to keep it simple the smaller boats go online go to build a boat they they make it so interactive and so easy right now cuz the manufacturers understand that that that's just the nature of our business now. So if they're gonna want to keep selling boats, they may, they need to make it easy to do so. They can't overcomplicate it like it might have been in the past. But where do you start with that situation, Stephanie? Yeah, I just um, you know again refer them to the manufacturer's website, um, and a lot of times we do it here in the showroom together, and it's it's fun, right? Because you can play with the colors, you can play with um, you know just change the look of the boat just by adding one thing or another. I know Sea Ray's got. A lot of different options on their whole sides now so um you can make it as fancy as you want um and then even some of our towboat brands like taiga and atx um those are really fun sites to get on because they have so many color options and you can play with the um metallic colors and um it's just it's fun i like doing it <laughs> so oh i love it too <laughs> i think it's i think it's the greatest thing that and you bring up a good point there and this is what I love about Boating Tips Live. This is what I love about Marine Max is every single store operates differently, kind of. And every single store throughout the country, whether it's up in Minnesota, whether it's in Florida, whether it's up in New England, is a completely different boating environment. And therefore, a lot of times they're going to have completely different styles of boats. So you're talking about your Tigas and your ATXs. I've never even been on one of those boats because in saltwater here, I mean, we're all doing stuff completely differently than they do it in lake country. So... Tell me about those those high performance over the top water sports machines that you guys are dealing over there. They're so fun. They're so fun. I had an opportunity to go um, to Abilene, Texas, which is where their factory is, and um, I did that the year before last. And it's just a phenomenal facility, um, uh, and they've been great to work with. Um, but that's the ultimate party boat, right? So if you want to get um, you know, a bunch of your friends in the boat and just have some nice deep seating. Um, you, the sound system that they use on the Taiga and ATX is wet sounds. And it's just phenomenal. I came from the power sports industry and that's what we used on most of the beefed up side by sides and four wheelers. And so trickling that into the Marine side has been cool. So I know the product, but um, it's, I mean, it's just a phenomenal looking boat. Um, and then you know, they have a lot of standard options that are on those boats, too, that you're not seeing on some of the other brands. Um, and so Tyga has been around since the 80s. They uh, ATX is their sister brand, which they introduced um, last year. And um, and the quality is, is just the same, just a few different um, few different options. So maybe not an 11 inch tablet style screen. Maybe you'll have more of like a six or a seven um, you know, different color options, but, uh, phenomenal boats. You need to come to central Florida and we'll go surfing. <laughs> yeah, 
for sure. I, man, I, I can't even believe I went on, I actually went on our website the other day and there's actually quite a bit of customizable options on those, um, tigers and stuff like that. I mean, just some of the colors are, man, you can't miss them from 10 miles away. <laughs> yeah, they can get pretty fancy. So we've, we've got a great selection of them here, here as well. So from 19 to 25 feet, um, but they're great. I mean, they're nice and deep. You can, the, the surf system that they offer is, is three different trim tabs on the back of the boat. And uh, you can literally switch with just a second, either on the, the steering wheel or on your tablet screen. Um, and you can switch from regular to goofy foot in a matter of five seconds. I mean, it's, it's very simple. Um, and just a lot of tons of cup holders and the lighting is phenomenal. USB plugins to charge your electronics. So it's, it's definitely a fun day out on the water. Awesome. You, uh, you mentioned that you came from power sports. So I usually ask this at the beginning of the episode, but Hey, here we are. What <laughs> brought you to Marine max and, and what, what did you do in the power sports industry? Like, what did you deal with mainly? Yeah. So, um, I worked for a family owned business, uh, in central Virginia. Um, and uh, we we offered five different brands at that store. So we did uh, Yamaha, Can Am, Suzuki, Honda, and um, there was one more Kawasaki. And so he did a lot with um, uh, race uh, MX, so mot motocross. So um, we did a lot with with the motocross kids, and he sponsored quite a few. Um, but yeah, we started working there. Um, and then I became a sales manager, um, and did that for, you know, quite a few years before I moved to central Florida. We've been here for about three years and, um, you know, so came from the business of fun and this is also the business of fun, just on a different scale. Um, and it's, it's been great. So. It is, it is fun from buying the boot to using the boot. And, and that's what I, I love about the power sports industry. And I'm not knocking the car industry, but it's just different. I mean, people going to buy a car, they need a car. I mean, if you're going to go buy a, a four-wheeler or dirt bike or a side-by-side -side or a boat, you're doing it to have fun. So whether you're selling fun, it should be fun. Whether you're buying fun, it should be fun. And uh, that's what I've always loved about the power sports industry. Yeah, yeah. Looks like we got another question here from Lisa Harrison. What are the benefits of ordering a boat over buying something that's already in inventory? Mm. Well, you can have it however you want, Lisa. I mean, you could order a boat. I mean, hey, if you wanted to order a fresh boat and then after the fact put lime green sea deck on it, go ahead and do it. <laughs> you can do it however you want. What are your thoughts on that, Stephanie, of ordering a boat? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just the ability to customize it and have it exactly how you want it. Um, you know, whether it's your your first boat or your last boat or, you know, one of the ones in between, it just, you can have it exactly, you know, exactly how you want it. Um, uh, yeah, I'd say probably that, you know, the ability to customize. Biggest downside though is, hey, you got to wait. But if you can wait, who cares? Put your deposit down, reserve the build slot, and uh, you'll see it when you get here. But uh, looks like we're we're coming up on our end here. But Stephanie, what do you have going on this week? Are you delivering any cool boats? Are you doing any sea trials? What does your agenda look like this week? Yeah, I'm uh, doing a sea trial on Wednesday morning at ten on a fifteen Montauk. So that'll be fun. First time boat buyers, and uh, they're very excited to get out on the water um, with their family. And uh, then uh, Wednesday afternoon, we have a boat delivery. Um, on a, a couple that have just they've been amazing to work with um they bought a sea ray a, a pre-owned sea ray and they're so excited uh they had they're they're coming from a 17 montauk and going to a 24 sun deck so they're very excited to get their boat um and uh you know hopefully scheduling some more and keep on keep on going how about you I'm actually doing some prop testing on Friday on one of our 36 Aquilas. We just got the cruiser edition in, which is the fully enclosed. So excited to spend some time on that. Then have a delivery on a 19 SPX, which was actually an in-stock boot, which, I mean, that's not going to be a thing here in a couple months. <laughs> and other than that, just uh, we got the new 54 and 70 Aquila here, so... 
those are here. One of them is accounted for. And we had our private event last week, and now they're going to be doing a photo shoot here locally next week. So we're going to start to really see some of those boats publicly in depth and stuff like that and uh, see what great job Aquila really did. Um, something you mentioned earlier was working on that 15 Montauk with some first time boaters. Isn't that the greatest thing yeah. is getting somebody out on the water for the first time. And, you know, so, sometimes people come in and they, and, and they're scared, right? They're like, Hey, I've never driven a boat before. I've never owned a boat before. And I mean, I say that's the greatest thing because you're not going to have any bad habits. You're going to take captain Keith. You're going to have whoever it is doing your orientation. You're going to learn everything the right way. And then it's going to be crazy when you're that new boater, you're scared, you're intimidated. You look back six months from now and you say, man, I can't believe how much I've progressed in that time and how much fun I can actually have on the water. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so fun. Right. And, and it goes uh, hand in hand with all the education that we offer. We just did a seminar last week on um, our getaways, which we weren't able to do last year um, because of all the craziness happening, but you know, we have a lot of education for, for anybody, but, um, you know, we have a lot of um, new boaters as well. So we have women on water. We have several classes scheduled for this year. We have boating 101. Um, you know, you guys do this, um, you know, to help ask questions and help further educate people. So, you know, I think, uh, I think our customers really appreciate that, you know, and um, goes a long way. Looks like we got another question from Lisa. Okay, okay, silly goose. What common questions do you get from customers who are going through the ordering process for the first time? Uh, biggest one is, hey, how long is it going to take me to get my boat? Well, Lisa, that could, uh, it, it really varies between every brand, between every model. Sometimes boats will be further backed up in a queue due to popularity. Sometimes you'll be able to snag a build slot that's already incoming from from marine max it uh it changes just about every time um what are some questions that you get stephanie uh, pretty much those those same you know the first question is okay what when can i have it <laughs> um I'd say probably that's that's a, a bigger one when can i have my boat um you know and and they like to see uh the the progress if if they can mm -hmm. so i know sometimes we can sneak a picture um here and there uh during the the building process or um i know in the past we have been able to visit some of the the factories um hopefully we can get to that point again one day um have you been to uh the boston whaler factory over here i have i went to the whaler factory in 2000 2018 and it was it was just awesome. I mean, I watched them fill the fill the hall with foam and stuff like that. And it's something that I've heard quite a few times is you know people think Marine Max and they'll think they'll think the big yachts and they'll think the big boats and stuff like that. And then you know a question I get a lot is saying like, hey Nick, I I get it. You know, this might not be the biggest boat, but you know this is a big deal to us. And I'm gonna tell a quick story. So I had a couple at a boat show order 17 Montauk from me. Not the biggest boat, great boat, however. And Boston Whaler did such a phenomenal job of they bring the customers, and this is before COVID, and they'll do this again eventually, but they bring they brought the couple in and they toured the whole plant with them and they took them in on the line, on a 17 Montauk line, to their exact boat as it was being made, as before the motor was on it and stuff like that. And, you know, they got to see it in the process and, 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 and she was so blown away. I mean, it was really him buying the boat and she just said, man, I thought I'd be bored. I was excited the whole time I was in there and they treated them like gold. And this is on a 17 Montauk and that, and that type of relationship, you know, that, you know, with the customer and stuff like that was just awesome. And they still talk about it till this day. And, uh, and Whaler did, they did a great job of bringing people in and making it really special for them. And uh, I look forward to today so we can do that again. Yeah, I agree. I had a guy um, that had ordered a, a 19 Outrage and um, they're not as, as common, um, you know, to keep in stock. So he hadn't seen one in several years. And so we set up for him to go to the factory and um, 
he went through the whole tour with Katie and, you know, she was great. And, uh, at, we finished up on the, um, wash pad with his boat on the wash pad. And he just, it, I mean, it was like a dream come true for him, mm. you know, and then we had it come here and it was shrink wrapped. So he got to come and unwrap it. And I mean, he, you know, that's such a phenomenal thing to be a part of, you know, see the, the joy on his face. And he's like, I wanted to do this in the th since I was a kid. And, my dad had Boston Whalers up north and, um, you know, this is mine. And he was just, just so excited, you know, so. That, uh, that's about as excited as I was when I went up to Fond du Lac <laughs> and, and saw a 350 Verado be birthed for the first time. It was just so beautiful. I got to do that. I got to, uh, uh, George and I went up to Fond du Lac, uh, last uh, no, it was two, two Decembers ago and we went up there and phenomenal facility out there. I mean, it's just massive. It goes on and on and on. And we, we had some snow while we were out there, but yeah, it was, is a great, great facility. It looks like we have a question about a Yamaha, uh, engine over at Mercury. Yeah, absolutely. Do you want to take it or me? Uh, I'll let you have that one. All right, Brian, if a manufacturer has a deal with Yamahas, could we order Mercury Motors? Hey, I don't want to get too much in the weeds of that. Sometimes there, there are boats that are exclusive to different brands of engine. Our Nautic Stars are going to come with uh, all Yamahas on it. All of our Mercury's, any of our Brunswick product, any of our uh, Boston Whalers, Sea Rays, they're going to be exclusive to Mercury. I'm going to put that to bed right now, okay? Mercury, Yamaha, this is my thought on it. I deal both Mercury and Yamaha here, and they are both phenomenal engines. You're going to be taken care of great either way. Either way, you're going to be taken care of with a Mercury or Yamaha. What it's really going to come down to is serviceability. Who do you have a servicing dealer closer to you? If you have five different Mercury dealers within 10 miles of you, you're probably better off going with a Mercury. Vice versa. I mean, if you've got a Yamaha tech right around the corner, um, then go ahead and go with them. But... You know, the good thing about Merker and Yamaha is uh, there's techs all over the place. There's licensed, authorized Merck and Yamaha dealers that can take care of you. And uh, you're, you're not going to go wrong with both of them, Brian. So that's a great question. Um, then we have Jag Pimp down here. Speaking of boat builders, you know Dick Lazara. I think he lives in the Tampa Bay area. I do not know him personally, but I know a lot of people that do. And, uh, and they used to build Lazara's right here in Tampa. Beautiful yachts. So uh, that's a good question. So, Stephanie, thank you very much for joining us. Guys, Stephanie is a sales consultant at Marine Max in Orlando. So, if you're driving on I-4, you've got boat fever, you're going crazy, go ahead, stop in, ask for her. They've got a phenomenal inventory. We've worked together a lot. And, and I'm going to tell you that Stephanie is one of the most, if not the most, product knowledge driven sales consultants in the whole marine max company so if there's a question that you think you can go in and stump her go ahead give it a shot and she's going to take great here great care of you thank you so much i appreciate it and thank you so much for having me absolutely thanks for uh thanks for joining me and uh next week let's see what we have next week I should know this for episode four. So we actually have for next week, we have your boat delivery questions answered. So that is going to be going on everything at the delivery process, the orientation process. And our guest is going to be Kit Beaudry from Marine Max Pensacola, Pensacola up there in the Florida panhandle. So he's been with the company a long time. He sold a lot of boats, big and small, and he really knows what he's talking about as well. So I look forward to joining everybody here next week. On Facebook at Marine Max, you can find us on Instagram at Marine Max. You can find us on YouTube at Marine Max. It used to be a bunch of different things. Now it's all pretty much the same. And you can find us on Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, any major streaming process. Go ahead, give us a download. Make that drive home from work a little more bearable, and uh, we'll talk about boots. So We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us this time. Stephanie, good good luck with everything, and uh, I wish you luck as we get into the busy season here in uh, Florida.